Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Morning, Dr. Stan, Dr. Burnett, and hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Liaoguang from the Moment Peoples Hospital of China. Today is the Winter Sisters Festival in China. So happy Winter Sisters to everyone. Well, let's get down to business. My topic is the ischemic stroke in young adults. First of all, so let me present a typical case. A dirty years old man, he was suffering from very calf strokes after drunk, presented with right facial paralysis, hemiplegia, dysphoria, and fracture everyone else. The medical history, he had no history of hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cardioarrhythmia. But he had been smoking and drinking for 10 years. It was lack of exercise. His family history was not special. Pre-onset and post-onset MRS was zero for respectively. The vital sign was the normal. Body mass in that in that BMI was normal. And the NIST scores was 14. Emergency blood test of an ECG was normal. CT scans. Non-conscious CT scans show that aspect scores was nine. CTA show that the left middle cerebral artery, MCA M1 segment occlusion. MCA hypertense that side was negative. And CT perfusion was rapid. So that the volume of time to max greater than six seconds was 90. Three milliliter. The volume of the cerebral blood through CBF less than 30% was zero. So the mismatch was infinite. Diagnosis. So the patient's diagnosis was clear and accused ischemic stroke. The location was the left cerebral, cerebral hemisphere and the left MCA M1 segment occlusion. So is the lot, uh, large vascular occlusions. Obviously, in this case, it's involved stroke in young adults. And then in here, we were a couple of questions. Number one, why did the young man suffer stroke? Two, what's the qualification? of target's acoustic lessons. According to the course criteria, three, what's the best treatment for him? Shows, and to answer these issues, we review the literature. First, how to define young adults. Most studies divide the this populations as between 18 years and 50 years of age. And then epidemiology, epidemiology in young adults. Let's look at the figure. We can see in worldwide an increase of up to 40% in the incidence of strokes in young adults has been reported over past decades. decades. And cause of strokes in young adults as follows. Um, this is was uh, according to the toast criteria. Number one, la arteries of sclerosis. The orphans uh, between 40 and 49 years old. History of the cardiac disease of, and the presence of the traditional risk factors. It's worth noting that 
intracranial atherosclerosis stenosis, uh, the ICAS observation. Oh, sorry. It's one of the main causes of the kills and RVO shows in its case to cardiac embolism. Often them 35 years and subsequent trillion fibrillation, cardiac tumor, cardiomyopathy, and cardiac with or without valve vegetation, pattern for ramen or valve, PFO. Three, small vessel disease, including genetic cerebral small vessel disease, and cardio, sporadic uh, cerebral small vessel disease. Fourth, other determined cause, including the arterial uh, decisions, malignancy, Moya Moya disease, vasculitis, with reversal of cerebrus, with uh, congestion syndrome, antiphorology lipid syndrome, twice undetermined cause means quitogenic stroke. I think you need your next slide. Okay. Okay, let's, let, me, let me, let's look at the risk factors. The factor of the young adults involves vascular uh, risk factors and malignancy, malignancy illicit drug use, pregnancies and pure period and genetic risk factors. And how about the migraine? The migraine uh, the role of migraine in stroke is still controversial. Okay. How to identif identify the ideology of LVO's early? So, can we identify the ideology of occlusion early? Now, studies show some surrogate markers can suggest ICAS related occlusions, such as Australia, fibrillation, MR gradient echoes in image, CT hypertense, artery size, tranquil, tranquil occlusions, residual stenosis. Okay, here I, I, I write to share my our study and unpublished data for everyone. We aim to develop the uh, method to predict the etiology of intracranial large vascular collisions shows before from, from better base, our study teams to write that um, arterial fibrillation, prior clinical neuro neurologic, <coughs> neurological Definite deficit, CT hypertense size diabetes scores, and the relations results. The error under the curve of the, the receivers of operating characteristic curves for the ICAS occlusions identification was zero to one AA zero. The optimal cutoff value of the scores was four with 91% sensitivity, 73 specificity, and 82 accuracy. Okay, back to the, uh, this case, we can calculate the scores, the patient scores um, versus four. So we predicted the ideology versus ICUS or Cruzen. Right or not? Let's go ahead. And, um, and then treatment strategy. Intravenous from policies was not available because the time window is limited. 
and uh, uh, from Batman and the Predator, therapy and statings was appreciated. Another question is how to choose the first line from Batman's tech aspiration versus Sam Bridgewell. Which one is better? The compass drivers told us are just non inferior functional outcome at 90 days compared with the stem retriever first slice from Batman. However, this driver is not, not a ideological classification study. And more and more, and more and more the studies show that stem retrievers may be more suitable than the aspiration as a front lines from Batman in the patient with the ICAS occlusions. And our study, our study was um, public originally uh, in France in neurology also so that the efficacy, the efficacy of the duct achieved higher immediate and final reperfusion in, in umbilical occlusion than that in ICAS occlusions. So uh, we chose the um, ch chose the stem retrievers as a front lines from battery technical in this case. A person so lumber and badass was the true mainstream technical of stem retriever. This is a slumber technical. Technical. Uh, is the solitaire retriever, stem retriever plus the penumbra aspiration capture. And the badass technical was the including forum guy, blood, not both this to assess capital and endurum aspirations and stem retriever. This is a campaign technique. Mm, in theoretically, the latter, the better technical may be more efficient, efficient based on the triangle. Start. This throws replacements of the long stem retrievers with the majority of the stem beyond the crop. Bottom the inflation controls the back throat and dual aspiration. So maybe the maximizing improve the first pass reperfusion and probably Minimizing the risk of risk of distal embolization. So the bad dust tannic was added to our team. And then we will show the um, endovascular team uh, treatment procedure. It is uh, six uh, figures. The figure one, the direction of red arrows indicated left the MCA M1 severance occlusions. And the figure one, figure two indicated the collateral occlusions assessments was grade three. The second, the second three and second, uh, uh, the figure three and four shows so, so the, the past the, the micro capital past the occlusion lesson. And uh, Triangular stepped up successfully. Figure, figure five and figure uh, six shows that first pass in reperfusions have been achieved. Importantly, that no distal embolization. So here were the made devices of uh, application. This, uh, these figures uh, is the, the emergency medical devices 
and hospitals those teams achievements flow. And follow up, um, we after the from battery, we uh, uh, perform a aspiracity uh, scan immediately. So immediate CT scans after uh, uh, from battery, a little conscious agents remains in facial ganglia. And 20, 24 hours later, and the CT scans, we can see the conscious agent have faded. I mean, if, uh, for our, and on day four, uh, MRI and DWI, DWI show that the left left side facial ganglia, temporal lobe, frontal lobe, and insular lobe show that a uh, high signal. MRI, MRI the left 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 uh, MCA M1 segment segment is residual stenosis. And the high resolution MR vascular vas analysis show that atherosclerotic pack with severe stenosis here. So other the um, text to determine the cause of continuation, except for hyperlipidemia. The other blood test was normal. And hotter cardio assertion, bubble test from is normal, was normal. From from buses pathology show that the mixed from birth. So the final diagnosis of this patient. The toes uh, classification was LAA, large artery atherosclerosis. Okay, second secondary is prevention. When a patient discharged, was, was discharged, was discharged, we prescribe medications uh, such as aspirin and atrovas stating. And sometimes we recommend recommended him change lifestyle to low salt, a low fat diet, quit alcohol and no smoking, and a moderate amount of sport. Okay, let's so look at the um, prognosis. The patient's recovery is a bit quickly on the fourth day of the hospital. Hospitalized hospitalization, he recovered almost completely and was discharged on day seven. To date, he has a good outcome. And the follow up will go on and on. So, a conclusion uh, number one, ICUS is one of the main causes of the uh, kills. And let other VO shows in its tension, including young adults. Truth, embolic and icus occurrence uh, account for most of all LVO stroke. However, in some cases, pre interventional identification of the etiology of LVO stroke remains a challenge. Three, I if the Treatment of Joe in young adults, timely and standard diets. Most of, I, I believe, uh, most of them will have a good outcome. So, uh, the a discussion. As we know, the patient has a residual severe MCA stenosis at left side. And what should we do if the patient recurs? to a similar stroke. Continue best, best uh, medical treatment 
and or uh, angioplasty, 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 or standing. I I want to know uh, in America how to choose them the treatment. Okay, uh, on acknowledgements. In the end, I thanks for all our team's uh, member very much. That's all. Thank you.